What's up video Fort nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. In this video, we're going to be importing our tracking data that we created in PF track into 3ds max. So it's really simple. Let me show you how to do that. So first of all, you need to go to that folder where you actually exported that .ms file from PF track. And once you've located that file, you simply just drag it into 3ds max and release and that will create a camera and if you scrub through this you'll see that you've got some camera movement going on here as well and then what you want to do is just go to the end of your timeline and make sure that you've got 200 frames you'll see it says 200 slash 199 kind of weird because it's going over the last frame but you've got 200 frames which is perfect because it's starting at frame number one that's why in the previous video we looked at the amount of frames and that's obviously very important because if you're missing one frame, maybe one frame from the beginning or one in the middle somewhere, your whole track is just going to be out and your video is not going to work. So, okay, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our V-Ray renderer. So go to rendering here at the top and click on render setup and scroll all the way down, click on assign renderer and then set your production renderer to V-Ray advanced, click on OK and then just scroll up and um, the script that we imported should actually set your resolution your output size automatically so just make sure that it's set the width and the height to 1920 by 1080 and um, everything else is fine for now let's close that down and then one thing you can do in your camera view just right click on your camera and then click on show safe frames and that will just make sure that everything is inside this frame when we uh, add our background footage later on so it's just a safe way of working so once you've done that we're going to save our scene so click here at the top and then go to save as and then i'm just going to find a location quickly um, let's just say i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm going to give it a name i'm just going to call it final project and i'm going to click on save okay so once you've saved your project uh, we are actually done with this video really simple to import your tracking data and also be sure to check out some of our other awesome tutorials on the video fort youtube channel i'll see you guys in the next video